Today I'm going to show you how you can install Forge for Minecraft 1.20. So let's get right in. And now before you actually are going to install it, yeah, you want to head over into the Minecraft launcher, go over to Installations tab right up there, and then check all your installations. What's really important is to make sure that you do not yeah, that you do not have any previous versions of Forge installed. As you can see, I do not. And if you do, what you want to go ahead and do is click on the three dots and just delete them. Yeah, um, if you do not delete them, then you have a really big chance that once you try and install Forge 1.20, it's just going to go ahead and crash. Yeah, and you probably don't want that happening. So, I highly recommend that you guys do that. Anyways, once you make sure that you've done that, you can go over to the top link in the description and that's going to bring you to download um, from Minecraft Forge 1.20 and now at the time of recording this video there's only one download this is the first one it's a massive preview so there might be major bugs you want to click on the installer button you'll be brought to this ad page and you might you know um, you, you need to wait around five seconds before you can click on the skip button in the top left and then in the top right, sorry, and then as you can see in the bottom left of my screen, Forge 1.20 has now started downloading. Now, if you have installed um, Forge before, then you should be good. However, if you have not, you might need to download a program called Java for Windows, um, and this will basically allow you to launch Forge, and it'll install Forge into Minecraft for you. I already have it installed, um, but if you don't or you're not sure then just go ahead and download it and then just run through the installer it's as you can see I'm in my downloads right here and we have forge for 1.20 and now to launch this all you should do is double click on it and if that doesn't work you want to right click go to open with and then you want to make sure that you open it with the java binary as platform se binary um, that's what you might have just installed if you didn't already have it so we can select that right there and as you can see it's automatically going to launch here. You want to make sure that you have install client selected and you can just leave this as is. Click on OK. Then it's just going to start installing. This will take around 30 seconds to a minute or two maximum um, but it's usually really fast. As you can see 20 seconds later they've successfully installed a client profile forge version 1.20 into the launcher. So you can click on OK. And now since this is the installer, you can delete this if you want to. Um, you don't need it anymore. Anyways, now once you've done that, you can just go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And since you've just installed Forge, it should automatically be selected as well. As you can see right here, Forge for 1.20 has automatically been selected. Um, now you can click on play and it might need to install a little something and you'll probably also need to click a checkbox um, to let them know that you accept the fact that you're playing um, a modded Minecraft which does of course come with its risks. Anyways, as you can see right now, I'm successfully playing Forge for Minecraft 1.20. Now, um, as you can see, this is a Forge beta which means that major issues may arise. Yeah, um, and now obviously depending on when you download this, um, Forge for 1.20 might be out of betas. We don't know. Um, but basically that, now you can go ahead and just install all the mods you want. And now if Forge is crashing, which does unfortunately happen sometimes to people, um, I have a video linked in the description with all the different troubleshooting that you can go ahead and do um, just to get that fixed up for yourself. Anyways, for right now, that was basically it. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.